All right, guys, welcome back to another video here on the driver page. We are at Baxterville, and we are doing a custom setup for this track. I'll show you the setup here in a minute. But first, we'll go do some hot laps, and I'll show you how I drive the track. Uh, I got down to the goal time on Legend difficulty during hot laps, so uh, I feel like this uh, setup is pretty decent. All right, guys, as you can see, we turned a uh, 12, oh, 12, 4, 8, 2, I think it was, was our fastest lap. We can consistently get down in the 12, 5s, and then, uh, of course, 12, 6 is 12, 7. So, uh, anyways, that's the line of run, guys. Here's the setup. Uh, left front is a 5.5 degrees on the camber, 360 on the spring rate. The shock bump is 3.0. The shock rebound is 4.0. The tire pressure is 1050. The right front, the camera angle is a negative six degrees. The right front spring rate is 350. The shock bump is 3.0. The shock rebound is 4.0. And the tire pressure is 1350. Uh, the front brake bias, which I didn't, I don't ever mess with that, but I always have it set at 40. I didn't know this time. Uh, but anyways, 40. Uh, left side weights, all the way maxed out. Right side weights, all the way, I mean, cross weight is all the way maxed out. The right height is a negative uh, 0.50. Uh, wheel locks at 30 degrees, zero and soft on the steering offset and the tire compound. The rear end ratio is at five. And again, guys, it's the same as I said before. You can go higher than that. You can go 530, 540. Uh, I think 550 is about where I got into the rev limiter on it. But um, five is a, a, good, a good place to have it, I guess. Uh, chassis J bar heights at 20, axle J bar heights at 10, right heights at a negative 0.50, rear weights at 57.5. On the right rear, the spring rate is 280, shock bump is a 3.0, shock rebound is a 4.0, tire pressure is a 1350, tire stagger is a 2.0, or 2 inches, however you want to say it. Uh, spring rate is a 250 on the left rear, 3.0 valving on the shock bump. 4.0 on the shock rebound and 10.50 on the, the tire pressure. Uh, the one thing I can tell y'all guys that you probably can't see by watching the video is how you drive this track. Uh, this is one of those tracks where you don't ever fully come out of the throttle. Like getting off into one and two, you just come back about two thirds throttle and get it turned into the corner. Um, and then about midways to the corner, you start rolling back in the throttle and you can feel it grab right there on that kind of cushion or that moisture and it'll drive itself off and you got to kind of keep it straight don't get it sideways and all that stuff uh three and four pretty much the same way you drive it in down there uh and you come about two-thirds out of the throttle and the car will slide up the track just a little bit but you'll feel it when it catches on that moisture and then you start rolling back in and drive it off the corner again trying to keep it straight as possible but not get into the outside wall so Anyways, guys, I hope this has helped. If it has, please smash that like button, guys, because it helps out tremendously. With that being said, we will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.